So Honda Jet and Boom Supersonic, just two examples of how the aviation industry in our area really is thriving. But you know, those industries need skilled workers. And that's where a local aviation academy is helping to fill the need and more. As I found out, it is a great example of what's right with our schools. Students enrolled in the Andrews Aviation Academy in High Point are literally soaring, both in class and in reality. Junior Aliyah Martin is just a few hours away from getting her solo pilot's license. I just like seeing things from a different perspective. Being able to fly, I get to travel and go to places that I haven't been to before, so I really enjoy doing that. While freshman Tarika Brown is getting the hang of the flight simulator. It's like, like, tunnel vision, like you're only focused on those two monitors that are like displaying everything that you'll see if you're actually in an airplane. In 2016, the Academy began guiding students interested in aviation. Since then, we have just been growing year after year, offering aviation maintenance, engineering, and piloting. And we got about 25% um, of our students are in the pilot program and a majority of them are females. That is the great thing about this program, just giving opportunities to kids who would normally not have these kind of opportunities. London Waters knew she wanted to come here after just one visit. I had a tour here when I was in eighth grade and I saw it, I came into this classroom and I was like, oh my gosh, I can fly it and I don't have to go to Greensboro Airport and do it. I can come here and go anywhere in like a class period. Abdul Omar came to Andrews for a different program, but quickly found his calling in the Aviation Academy. At first, I was like, whenever I first joined the aviation program, I was thinking of going into a pilot, but after getting into more, I'm thinking the engineering program is like more right for me because I'm so hands-on. I always want to like build something or figure out how things work. The Academy offers many different options for students all in one place. We've got, we've got programs with the Honda Aircraft Company and with HACO America. So if our students want to work at one of those two companies, we've got pathways for them. And we've got short pathways that they can either, right after high school, go straight to work for one of the companies, or after one year of schooling at GTCC Aviation Program, get their airframe and power plant license and go to work. It makes me proud. I had one student come back three years after graduation, brand new truck, and he was making about $75,000. Whether they want to be a pilot or engineer, students are cross-trained, giving them valuable experience. I flew before I came here, but I didn't know all of this. Like, I learned so much more. Like, I learned the terminology of certain things, learn how certain things work and why they work this and who made it work. So I thought this was really cool to learn. It's involved like pretty deeply because you have to know like if your airplane were to like have something wrong with it, you'd have to know like what's wrong with it and like what someone needs to do in order to fix it. And for many, their futures are set. After I get my private pilot's license, I want to attend Elizabeth City State University and complete their pilot program. And after I receive that, I would go through the other certifications and get my certified flight instructor um, license so that I could teach others. I want to be 17 taking that final test and being able to be like, oh, telling my parents, let's go, let's fly. How cool is that? Well, students from all over the county uh, come from all over the county to be a part of the Aviation Academy. Some, like Aaliyah Martin, though, moved into the area from another state just to be a part of the program. Many of the students in the program are also involved in Civil Air Patrol. It helps students with leadership activities and gives them more insight into the aviation field.